Listen to me, okay? The lady's told you what's right. There's rules here, rules that we have to stick to, okay? It isn't against you, but you oh, have mate, a duty. Listen, I'm not saying it's against you me. You have All a I'm duty is, to be here on time. And I'm explaining to you why I wasn't here on time. Do you know what? I got lost. I understand, right? But what I gather now is the decision maker. The decision maker's going to be sending you a letter through the post. You're going to have to wait for that, and then you're going yeah, to. Yeah, nobody... my kids have got to start school tomorrow. I've right. got about twelve quid in my purse. Do you know what? All I... because. You can't just calm down and listen to people when they talk. Right. You all Again, have to do this. You know what? I've listened to you. Rules. You've created a scene. I think oh, you I've need... created a scene. No, mate. I, I I'm think you need if to leave the building. If I was going to create a scene, you'd know about it. You need to leave the building. I'm sorry, you're okay, you need to... Yeah. Oh, this is ridiculous. Jesus what am I Christ! To do? Who's first in this queue? I am. Do you mind if this young lass on. signs on first? No, no, you carry on. There you go. Now you can go back to your desk and let her sign on and do the job that the taxpayer pays you for. This is a bloody disgrace. Listen, all right? This doesn't have to involve you. Everybody's trying to do their job here, and you're creating more of a scene again. Welcome to Kermit Uncut, where I find myself delighted to be talking once again about Ken Loach, who's recently become the toast of Cannes because his new film just won the Palm d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival. And you may remember, back in 2013, Rebecca O'Brien, who was Ken Loach's producer on Jimmy's Hall, which he was just starting to make, said that she thought that this was probably going to be his last narrative feature. Now, I interviewed Ken Loach in 2014, just before he went off to the Cannes Film Festival with Jimmy's Hall, and I said, is it true? Are you retiring from narrative filmmaking? What he said was this. He said, well, that was at the moment of maximum pressure, just before we started to shoot. I just said, I can't do this anymore. I was away quite a long time on this one. It was a large undertaking, a period film with a big cast. I was reaching the point where I just wasn't sure that I could carry it off anymore. But that was the start of production. So maybe I won't retire. Maybe I'll do a documentary or something more documentary-like. Well, of course, Loach has a brilliant track record with documentaries. If you saw Spirit of 45, that was a wonderful piece of work. It's got great critical acclaim, and rightly so. Ken Loach then went to Cannes, where he played Jimmy's Hall. And whilst he was in Cannes, he said some things about film critics. Basically, let's get rid of film critics. Let's let ordinary people review films. And... I did a blog saying, you know, come on, this is a bit harsh. I actually think there is a reason for film critics. And Ken Loach, feisty as ever, got in touch and said, you know, could he have a right to reply? So we said, of course he could. And here's a little bit of Ken's right to reply. Critics dish it out on a, on a weekly basis um, to several films um, frequently, and they just dispose of it, and some they give a thumbs up to, and some they give a thumbs down to. Sure. And filmmakers don't respond. I mean, we sit in silence and we take it on the chin. The moment you say anything about critics, there is a flurry of activity. And their skirts go in the air and their hands are raised and how dare you. And I mean, critics can be criticised without yes. invalidating their profession. So that was Ken Loach talking on the Kermit Uncut blog in 2014. At the end of that blog, I said to him, oh, well, here's to the next fight. And he said, oh, there's a few coming. Well, there's a lot more than a few fights. Of course, what happened was Ken Loach then went on to make his new movie, I, Daniel Blake, about a man who's had a heart attack, who's unable to work and is wrestling with the welfare state. And that film has just won the Palm d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, making Ken Loach one of, I think, only nine filmmakers ever to win the Palm d'Or twice. Now, I haven't seen I, Daniel Blake yet. I haven't seen Andrea Arnold's film, American Honey, either, which I'm really looking forward to. That was also a prize winner because I don't go to the Cannes Film Festival. But I'm looking forward to seeing both of them in the very near future. But the really good news is having said back in 2013 that he was thinking of toning things down, thinking of stepping down from big dramatic productions, thinking of perhaps just concentrating on documentary features, Ken Loach, at the age of 79, is clearly at the very height of his powers, and not only not slowing down, but evidently speeding up. Ken Loach, not shy, and definitely not retiring. <laughs>